Alright, so we made it to crazy downtown Sturgis on Main Street. Millions of motorcycles and pure chaos. watching our videos every Thursday, we greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. This week's video is the top 10 things to do when at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Be sure to stay tuned to the end, because we have a bonus. Starting with number 10. We're out here at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, and one of the top things to do is to come out to Devil's Tower. It's an amazing ride. Um, it's about an 80-minute run from Sturgis, and I highly suggest uh, jumping on that motorcycle and heading down to Devil's Tower National Monument. your favorite ride of all the Sturgis rallies that we've been to? What's your top favorite ride? I have to choose just one? Yeah. You have to pick just one. Oh man. I don't know if I can choose just one. Huh. Probably Spearfish Canyon. Alright guys, if you get out to South Dakota for Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, I strongly suggest hitting Spearfish Canyon for this ride that we're doing. And we're about to hit Bridal Veil Falls. It's an amazing waterfall right off the road. You don't even have to hike. Number eight. We're in Keystone, South Dakota. One of the things I like about the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally is all the little towns. We're walking around Keystone, just another one of the little tiny towns. Got a real cool western feel to it. <clears throat> you get an opportunity and you're into motorcycles, you definitely should come out to Sturgis. Number seven. Was, um, this rancher had two sons, and you know every year the motorcycles go by. Uh, and so the sons think, you know what, why don't we like get a cooler? We could sell beers out of a cooler. Right. So they're bugging dad, dad, can we just like set up a cooler and sell some beers? And dad's like, no, we have work to do. <laughs> right? So finally they talked dad into, into letting them put a cooler on the side of the road. And now it's this, it's like a destination. Oh shit. They, they've got camouflage netting for, for shelter. They have picnic tables, they serve barbecue, there's oh, a, we're doing a live this. band. This is, my, this is my kind of place. And, yeah. and by the way, the old stone house is because there's an old stone house uh, where they set up. Right. And it's an old, you know, who the hell knows how old it is. Right. But they let you like sign your name inside the old stone house. Number six. The Bell Brawl at Buffalo Chip is an amazing event. These guys are insane. You cannot believe what they do with the motorcycle, especially full dressers. If you get the chance, I highly suggest checking out this show at the Buffalo Chip. take a ride towards Hill City. It's a beautiful ride. Every road is magnificent coming out here. Number 
number four. Rough Lock Falls. I have to think about it again. <laughs> yeah, it's just off Spearfish Canyon um, Scenic Byway. Definitely an amazing ride. I highly suggest it when you're out here at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. It's an easy uh, walk. You park in the parking lot and it's right there. So, yep, yep. And no hiking involved. Sidewalk. Paved no special no special equipment needed. <laughs> Paved pathway. Number three. All right, if you're planning on coming to Sturgis Motorcycle Rally for the 80th anniversary, I would definitely suggest uh, hitting Deadwood. It is a really cool, older western town. Lots of motorcycles and all kinds of great bars to get into. If you come to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally and you're looking for something different to do, why don't you ride a horse instead of that iron horse you've been riding all week long. Come out to Rock and Ride our trail rides and do a two hour horse ride. You won't uh, regret it. It's amazing. Anticipated number one. You have to do Custer State Park Wildlife Loop. It's an amazing place that has wild buffalo roaming the streets. Along with that, they even have donkeys that you can feed carrots and apples to. So stop by that store and grab some treats for the donkeys. bonus iron mountain road is a road with 314 turns and 17 miles with 14 switchbacks so you better be skilled at riding that motorcycle if you're going to take this road on near the end of the road you come to the national monument of mount rushmore you definitely have to stop in and see that it's worth the ten dollars to park that motorcycle Unfortunately, it is not covered under the National Parks Pass. I want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.